Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Bird. I teach R211 Intro to the Old Testament online for Portland Community College, and I appreciate your interest in the course. Some really important things for you to know up front if you are considering this course, and they primarily have to do with the interesting situation of studying the Bible academically as compared to doing a Bible study. So there are a handful of things I just want to run past you just to kind of for you to know um, about this course before enrolling in it. So I'm going to do a little share screen here and we'll move over to this. So um, the purpose of a course such as this one, there's also intro to the Newer Testament online as well, but the purpose of this course from my perspective, um, in addition to kind of the, the objectives of the course, um, looks something like this. I'm a biblical scholar and I want to help you become better informed about the Bible. So this course is meant to give you a space to, give, to let you do the reading of the Bible for yourself. Obviously, people have been doing that for ages, right? Actually, a lot of people read the Bible with what they've been told it should say or how they've been told to interpret a story. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to, this isn't about saying that's awful. This is about saying, why don't you read it for yourself and see what you think is being said? Obviously, we need all kinds of historical background and context and yada yada. But this is a chance to give, this is a chance for you to have a moment to read it for yourself. It's also um, a chance for you to have a moment to think really seriously, quite deeply about what's being said. Again, this isn't about saying whatever you thought it said or how your community might interpret a story is wrong. It's not about that at all. This is a moment for you uh, to sit down and think about, read, sit with, let it simmer a little bit, think about what's being said. Take it actually quite seriously. What kinds of messages are being communicated? Um, <clears throat> a lot of people will say, well, you know, these are ancient scriptures. Uh, you know, we need to, we don't do things the way they did then. I get that. And yet plenty of people are still reading them without knowing how to make that translation from ancient store ancient contexts to today so it's important to me as a biblical scholar to have conversations with people about what's being said what's going on what do you think about what's being said what's going on and the messages it's sending out there okay um so naturally what goes along with that then is um, this is a space where you can ask questions. It, there are no offensive questions for me. There are no off-limit questions. Um, in fact, I welcome your questions. Many people come into a course like this and are just kind of relieved that they can ask the questions they've always wanted to. Or what I often hear is, I used to ask these questions and I was told to stop asking questions about the Bible. I understand why that happens, but this is a space where it's safe to do that, engage your curiosity, your thoughtfulness, okay? Um, and what also somewhat naturally comes along with these first three points is that you might actually encounter content that is different from what you've always been taught, what you've always believed. Again, this isn't about saying what you've always thought or heard is wrong. This is about considering something new. Um, I do have a quote um, in my, my personal intro um, video, and it's, there's a quote on our syllabus, and I reference it several times throughout our course, um, a quotation attributed to Aristotle, which says, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain an idea without accepting it. We're going to do a lot of entertaining ideas they, um, in this course. You do not have to agree with it, but have you entertained it? Are you giving these, this new perspective a chance? That's what we're going for here. It's also just as important to me to say to you a few things about what this course is not. And most importantly, it is not a Bible study. Bible studies have, as I mentioned before, um, a kind of a set of presuppositions and beliefs about, usually about God's role 
in creating the scriptures and in delivering messages through them and so forth. Not disrespecting that, but that isn't what we're doing here, okay? Two different things, right? Not a Bible study, an academic study of the Bible is what we're up to. What often um, happens then for people who do come into this course with a faith background or even currently in, you know, um, faith communities is sometimes people feel like their faith is being deconstructed or someone's like, I'm trying to attack their faith, things like that. Um, that isn't what this course is about. This, it, this is not about poking holes in anyone's faith. It's not about trying to embarrass someone. And it isn't about debunking the Bible. That is not what this course is about. I wouldn't dedicate my life to studying something um, that I just think is just silly and something that needs to be debunked. That's not what's going on here. I do understand why some people feel like that. And so what this course then sometimes does for people is it gives you a space in which to think about alternative perspectives, sit with it, do you understand it before you just dismiss it, okay? So you, yes, this, this <clears throat> course actually sometimes um, enriches people's faith, believe it or not. Uh, what this course also is not is me trying to tell anyone what to think or believe. That's just not appropriate. Now, because many people have belief systems built up around the Bible, <clears throat> it gets tricky in terms of what is it I'm going to grade you on. So that's why I try to be very clear. This is a course that will introduce some ideas. You do not have to agree with it, but have you understood it? And that's what I'm going to grade you on. I'm not grading you on your beliefs. That's just not appropriate, right? So you don't have to agree with everything that's presented in the course. Um, in order to get an A in the course. I hope that makes sense. Um, but just to be clear, no matter where you might fall on this particular spectrum of being a very committed um, Jew or Christian, since these are scriptures for Jews as well, right? Or, you know, if you will posit this spectrum, um, atheist, non-deist, uh, non-theist, however you want to phrase that, right? Wherever you might be in that, there is something very important for you to learn from this course. So for people who have no religious background, there's a lot you can learn. For people who have quite a bit, there's still actually a lot you can learn. So um, those are my points that I wanted to put out there up front. Um, if you have further questions or concerns, drop me an email, be happy to hear from you. And let's see if I can get out of this. Oops.